Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot, rune, and oracle reading for the third quarter of 2024. I'm lighting an incense for y'all because this is the second time that I'm filming this. Uh, there was a technical difficulty the first time. So I'm sending you all the good love with this bergamot incense. This reading will cover July, August, and September. Okay, the rune that came out for you is called Nauthies, and it is coming out in this inverted position. And usually when this comes out, it's the only rune in a reading. It can show that you might not necessarily be ready to hear what predictions are going to come through for you or what will uh, be shown in this reading, which leads me to believe that there's going to be a lot of crazy changes in your life uh, this quarter, okay? So be prepared for that. There could be very unexpected changes in fate and circumstances, relationships, etc. Um, so much so that it, it might not even resonate with you currently. Uh, while we do this reading. All right, so keep that in mind. But we have the arrow coming out as your spirit guide and overall spiritual theme and message for the quarter ahead. And we're gonna read about this from the booklet. Um, the arrow as a spirit helps us stay true to the path that we're meant to be on. Receiving this symbol reminds you that when you are in alignment with your heart and soul, you are on target and will soon be hitting your mark. Be true to your calling, release attachments, and free yourself from the bondage of unbridled ambition. Now is revealed to be a moment of contact in which your intention meets the material world, aka manifestation. Mm. The arrow also symbolizes the need to set your creativity free. So having the arrow come out upright in your reading, it's actually inviting you to do something this quarter or to take on certain energies during this quarter. So let's read all about that. When the arrow zings through the air, it is inviting you to pay attention and signifying that you are about to make your mark in some aspect of your life. It illuminates the moment of contact when you know that your desires and intentions have traveled on the wind and landed in the perfect place for your highest good. So this is really, really positive stuff, okay? And now these coming out in reverse may have been an indication that the positivity that you will encounter in this quarter ahead is so vast that you might not have even believed it uh, in this reading. You might not believe it in this reading. Trust that your job is to be relaxed yet focused, keeping your eye on the prize yet releasing your intention with full expectation that it will land as it is supposed to. Don't worry about the how or the next form. This is not a time to interfere with the manner in which the arrow flies. It will make its mark and you will have cause to celebrate beautiful <laughs> beautiful i love that libra i think we're on a good 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 path here a good start here with this beautiful incense smoke and um you reaching your goals the major arcana card that's coming out for you is judgment oh my gosh even this card is very positive because it shows that you've been through quite a long journey thus far and you are positively looking back at your life and saying you know what the struggle was worth it the stress was worth it. The grief was worth it because where I'm at now is so much better than I could have ever imagined for myself. I'm seeing this thought process come through for you uh, this quarter. Like the, the challenges, the struggle, everything you faced to get to where you're at, you're going to be looking back and saying, you know what, all of that was worth it. And I see now that I had to go through all of that struggle, all of that challenge, all of that heartache and headache um, in order to become the person that I am today, in order to become somebody who can sustain and withhold these blessings and this high level lifestyle that I have for myself. Wow. Queen of Fire in reverse is coming out as your first card out of nine. And some of you guys may be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And um, this person seems to have a history with you. I'm just picking up intuitively. Um, flirtations. I'm seeing flirtations. Where uh, they're very charming, very charismatic person. And they may be sort of sneaking their way back into your life or having their eye on you during this new successful chapter of your life where you, you are manifesting quite a bit for yourself and achieving a lot of success. Okay. We have the page of air in reverse. Hmm. A lot of court cards here. 
I don't know. I just intuitively feel like people from your past, like your hometown, old friends of yours, uh, people like that, um, may have their eyes on you. They may be literally like checking you out on social media and seeing what you're doing because you could be reaching some big level of success here is what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm seeing uh, for some of you, there may be like a newspaper article written about what you're doing or um, like, especially if you have like a business or some sort of charity or something like that, some sort of high level of success uh, in that. Or um, others of you may be having like big life moments happen, like um, graduation, buying a beautiful home, uh, children, marriage, etc. We have the seven of earth. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like you're going to look at this and be like the efforts were worth it. It was totally worth like going through those challenges, going through those hard times, trusting in myself, believing in myself and never giving up because now that I have what I set out to do, now that I have this, like I'm, I'm really glad I made this decision to believe in myself. We have the six of earth coming out. It's beautiful as your fourth card. Yeah, this is stability. Or nine of earth. Did I say six of earth? <laughs> I meant nine of earth. This is stability. This is being very content with the amount of money that you're making, the success that you have. You have more than enough left over, okay? Nine of pentacles, nine of earth is when you reach that point in life where all your bills are paid, all your expenses are paid, and you have enough left over at the end of your, your paycheck <laughs> in order to buy the things that you want to buy, you know, uh, the fashion that you want to wear, the cars that you want to drive, investing in your hobbies, you know, it doesn't speak on extreme extravagance, okay, but it is showing, like, you're not living paycheck to paycheck. You have quite a, quite a big and good deal of uh, success here for you. Beautiful. All right, center of your spread. We have the two of water. Mm, it did come out kind of neutral like this. And I am picking up intuitively uh, multiple messages here. Number one, I keep feeling this presence of like people from your past. Um, old friends, old lovers, exes, uh, people like that. Even like aunts and uncles or cousins that you haven't talked to in many years are checking you out, checking out what you're doing and seeing the success that you have. And, and they're telling people about it like, oh yeah, I have a cousin who is really successful at this thing or they just did this or that. Or, oh my gosh, my ex, they just, you know, fill in the blank, achieved some sort of big dream here. It feels very strongly, Libra, like you are doing something all worthy, like all inspired. People are going to be like, wow, at uh, what you're accomplishing or what you're doing here. Like that is such a cool thing that that Libra is doing. For some of you, I'm, I'm seeing an image of you moving very far, but it's like a how do I put this? It's like you're doing something that a lot of people would love to do, but they always believe they can't do it. And you never had that belief that you can't do it. So you set out to do it. For example, some of you, <laughs> this is a weird specific message. Someone watching, you're moving to like a vacation spot. Okay. Like you're going to be like a perma vacationer. And, um, because you found that it's actually not super expensive to live there or you can afford it, whatever, or you got a really good job. And it's like, you're living in this beautiful destination all the time. And people are like, that's so luxurious. Like I could never do that. Like I could never afford that. But you know, like, oh, well, it's actually not that expensive. Like it's not that difficult. It's not that unachievable. Okay. Someone, someone watching, that's your story. But this could go in any any direction. You may have a successful podcast and a lot of people may have always dreamed of and talked about talking, uh, talk about having their own podcast and it's like you're doing it and you're being successful at it. And they're like, oh my gosh, like I could never. And it's like, you could, you just never believed in yourself. You know, you're doing something that a lot of people want to do, but never really give themselves the chance to believe that they can, which is very, very interesting. So I do see a lot of people sort of talking about you in that awe-inspired type of way. Okay, also, love is looking good here as well. So, you're just blessed. I don't know what to tell you. We have three of fire. Exactly. This is confirmation of what we're picking up on. This is you achieving your goals, your dreams. Like, visions of what you wanted to experience in this lifetime. You are seeing it in your physical reality this quarter. Okay, there's a big leap here uh, in success. 
all of these cards are singing in harmony saying that you are achieving something that you you set out to do a while ago okay and during those periods of challenge poverty um setbacks delays whatever you never gave up on yourself you never let go of your dream you never stopped working towards it whatever it may be or you you kept investing in yourself in one way or another and like i said you're achieving some sort of dream here that a lot of people they don't even like allow themselves to have that dream because they don't believe they can ever accomplish it but they also would like to have the lifestyle that you've cultivated for yourself <laughs> we have the ten of water in reverse i wouldn't be surprised libra if uh, you start hearing from people like if they start coming out of the woodwork you know random family members who you n haven't talked to in years or exes old friends whatever and um, it feels very strange. It feels strange to have these people connect with you now that you're suddenly uh, very successful and possibly like publicly so. And um, I, I feel for a lot of you, you're going to be making some judgment calls on how authentic the people that are reaching out to you are. Okay, you may be making judgment calls like, okay, well, this person, you know, they were just busy with their own life. And now that, you know, there's news around me, they wanted to reach out. But then others, you get the vibe, the psychic feeling that um, they may not necessarily have your best interest in mind and they're sort of chasing your clout, you know, trying to ride your coattails, if you will. So uh, I would definitely play your cards close to your chest here, especially if you have any big uh, projects or like a new relationship or uh, recently pregnant, I would keep that to yourself until it's like set in stone and will be successful. That's another thing here because there are a lot of eyes on you and some of those eyes may not necessarily um, be rooting for your success out of jealousy, whatever. We have the queen of fire in reverse here, which can be a little jealous at times. So I'd be careful of that. Just protect your ideas is what I'm seeing. Like don't tell people what you're up to until it's ready to be released to the world. Okay. Mm. Okay. Two more cards. What's in store for Libra this quarter? Okay. They both came out. <laughs> we have the Fool in reverse. Actually, three cards came out. We have the Two of Air. And we have the Ten of Air. Yeah, I feel like you're protecting yourself from any individuals who are trying to ride your coattails, to be honest. Uh, it takes a very particular set of personality traits and skills to accomplish what you're accomplishing. And, oh my gosh, I'm seeing a vision here of someone coming through trying to accomplish something similar that you are, but they don't have those skills and you know they don't. And they're trying to get you to like support them in some way. Like, how do I even put this? It, it looks so different for all of you. Like, let's just say you have... Let's go back to the podcast example. You have a successful podcast and you have like a random family member who wants to do something similar and they're like, oh, can you shout out my podcast or can you bring me on? But what they have isn't finished. It's not good. <laughs> and you honestly like you don't want to do that. And I'm seeing um, some hard decisions being made here. Judgment calls on people like that, you know, or like, let's just say you're newly pregnant. And suddenly you have like an aunt who hasn't talked to you, spoken to you in years. Okay. And they're wanting to come through and suddenly be this person. They want to have that new baby energy. They want to soak up, you know, your baby's energy essentially. And you're like, you literally haven't talked to, to me in years. Why do you suddenly want to be a part of my child's life? You know what I mean? And making hard decisions on that and um, whether or not that will move forward. Mm. Yeah, I am seeing some, I don't know why aunts and uncles, like very gossipy energies, like family energies coming forward, not wanting your name in their mouth. Really fascinating. Really fascinating. You may have to set some boundaries with certain family members on them not sharing your personal business or secrets uh, with extended family. That's what I'm seeing here. And... 
I feel Libra. Did I, have I called you Aries in this reading? I don't know why I keep thinking of Aries, but this is Libra's reading. So maybe a lot of you are connecting with an Aries at this time. But I feel for some of you, you may be um, having a baby, getting pregnant. Not all of you. This could also be like a new business success or like some sort of, like I said, big thing happening to you. But um, yeah, if this reading did not resonate, I want you to come back at the end of this quarter because with Nalthys coming out in reverse here, for a lot of you, this reading is not going to resonate because you might have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and this all comes through very suddenly. You, three months is a lot of time for random changes to happen. And I do feel like at the end of these three months, you're going to be thinking to yourself, like, I would have never predicted that this set of circumstances would have happened. Um, so definitely come back uh, towards the tail end of these three months and let me know what happened. I'm very curious. This should be a very significant time for you. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this quarter ahead because there's more to it than this. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe if you have not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.